Greetings everyone, Slizzle466 here and in today's video I'm looking at 18 decks that are the best to climb wild with, starting from the worst to the best deck. Now I'm only looking at uh, tier 1 and tier 2 decks and it's kind of a sprinkle of tier 3 decks, but because we only have 18 deck slots, it's a little limited. Um, also, this is based on my opinion, you might not agree with all of it, and that's okay. Uh, and the deck lists, I've chosen some deck lists that I think are really fun. Again, they may not be the best ones, but definitely some lists I'd recommend you try out. So, first of all, Kira Yamato's Odd Warrior. Now, so this is the worst of the best, in my opinion. Um, I took this list for a bit of a spin uh, the other day. It's actually pretty good. Um, it's a lot of fun. I really like the Blade Storm. You'll notice there's no Blade Flurry in this list, but the Blade Storm does a good job. Uh, you can also Blade Storm and combo with your Plague of Wrath, or Whirlwind's typically better to do that. Uh, one thing I really like is the Antique Heal Bot. I think this is a kind of a cute little card. Uh, Quest Mage is so powerful, but that even if you armor up enough, it can still kill you very quickly. Even Secret Mage can cause problems. And I have found the Antique Heal Bot to be really nice. Um, sometimes you can even combo it with the Bran to kind of do a soft Reno effect. I really like the Antique Heal Bot in this list. The other card I really like is the Archivist Elciana. This really helps you against the Jade Druid matchups, the uh, Warlocks. Uh, the Greedy Reno decks, and it's just a solid list, and I really enjoy playing it. Next up we have Duan's Reno Hunter. Now this is a Reno Secret Hunter, and this is again a list that I tested out last month and actually did really well with it. Um, I believe I went 5-0 and at Legend, and it's, it's just really solid. Um, I really like the Diving Griffin to help you tutor out your Zixor or your Zilliax. It's kind of unfortunate if you pull the Spring Paw, but overall, uh, it, this is a very mid-rangey list. And if things don't quite go your way and you're kind of having trouble in the late game, you know, you've got your Zombeasts, you've got your Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, you've got your Zildjian, this is just a really fun list to play, and I really enjoy it. EK's Reno Mage. Now, EK uh, hit Legend with this specific list last month. I honestly think this is one of the better of the Reno Control Mage lists that we're seeing out there. Um, so, for those of, you, those of you that are unfamiliar with this type of Reno Mage, it has a lot of early game control. And then you've got Lunas, Lunas Pocket Galaxy to help get some of your minions at a much cheaper cost. Now, a lot of lists run like a ton of legendaries, maybe between 20 and 25. And uh, I think that's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too greedy. This specific build that EK has come up with, it's sensible. It's um, very good into, into aggro. You've got plenty of tech to help you get to the mid game, get to the late game. I have not tried this list yet myself. I'm probably going to make a video about it uh, for next week. But this is a solid build if you want to climb with some Reno Control Mage. Major Tom's Murloc Paladin. Uh, this deck is actually nuts. If you've been watching me play on Twitch, I have a 75% win rate with this deck over maybe 50 games. I've been playing a ton of it. It is really powerful and it's a blast to play. Uh, I don't like to keep Prismatic Lens in my mulligan, but if you happen to get it and you high roll and get your tip for scales for one mana when it swaps with one of your early game Murlocs, is heaven. Uh, the trick though is don't queue into Warlocks. Ramsey's Discard Lock. Uh, Ramsey's is, uh, I'm a big fan of Ramsey's decks. 
uh, Ramsey's uh, Quest Mage was one of the first decks that I took to Triple Legend. Uh, so this is Ramsey's take on Discard Lock, and it's pretty solid. I don't play a ton of Discard Warlock myself. I probably should, uh, but this specific list, it's good into aggro. I like to, I like the Lakari Falhounds. Um, it's just solid. Uh, if you high roll with your hand of Gul'dan, you're going to be pretty happy. And it's a good solid aggressive Warlock deck to climb with. Memnox Galakrond Warrior. Uh, this deck is sleeper very, very strong. I'm surprised more people aren't playing Galakrond Warrior. It's got the early game kind of pirate package deal. It has the Kassar Cash. Pronounced it properly that time. Uh, the Kassar Cash to get into the Wrench Calibers to disable the Reno decks or the Hyper Draw decks. Um, the Deathwing Mad as aspect is really fun to, to include. Lower Theb's important for the mages and other and you know other spell based decks. Um, just a good mid range Galakron Warrior list. Mech Paladin. Apparently, I angered some Mech Paladin players last time I did a best decks video because I didn't talk about it enough. So here we go. This is Mentalistics Mech Paladin. Um, so, talking about the interesting cards in it, you've got a single Skyclaw. Uh, a single Skyclaw is really good as an anti aggro tech. I like how there's just one. I find two you can run into trouble if you're playing against control decks. And the Replicator Tron is really, really powerful. Uh, this really catches players off guard. Uh, you'll also notice that this list doesn't run Jeeves and opts for two Divine Favors instead. I think that's fine. I personally like one Divine Favor, one Jeeves, but I trust Mentalistic over myself. And uh, if you want to play some Mech Paladin, solid deck to climb with. Reno Quest Mage. Uh, Reno Quest Mage list, these are actually hard to find. Um, a lot of people kind of don't play it anymore because of the nerf to open the way gate, going from uh, six to eight spells. It's still a good deck. It's just that quest mate, regular quest mage is so much better. Um, this specific list, which is from um, the China server, it's uh, you know pretty solid. You've got you know your dragon package that we're used to. The research project's kind of cute. I like that for extra draw. Uh, the volcanic potion, I really agree with. Um, aggro can really run these decks down, especially a shaman who gets an early board. It's hard to deal with. Uh, otherwise, um, the Evasive Worm's kind of cute. Nice little surprise. Um, just, again, solid list. Um, you might disagree with two or three of the cards here, but otherwise, it's pretty solid. Odd Rogue. I love me some Odd Rogue. Uh, I took this specific list of legend on the Europe server. Um, I think this is the best build of Odd Rogue you're going to find right now. Some people don't like the Shady Dealers. I personally think they're great. I love getting a 3 mana 5-4 or against a Priest. I just tempo it out because it's 4 attack. But uh, if you don't like the Shady Dealers, you could put in some South Sea Captains. But uh, this is just a... It's, you know, it's got a good Pirate Package. I really like the Spy Mistress for the Stealth. Um, these can be devastating if you get a couple of them out um, at once. The magic carpet just makes aggro decks um, just really struggle to deal with, um, especially with the lackeys of your miscreant and all the one drops here. Uh, I like the double fungal mancer. I don't think you need to have a dark iron skulker, which this list doesn't have. A faceless corruptor helps you clean up boards most of the time. And yeah, just solid, very strong list. Highly recommended. Uh, Odd Paladin. Um, I've been featuring Ghost Dog's Odd Paladin for a few months now. I I see other lists and they just don't seem as good. Um, this this list is just solid. It's got a light pirate package. I like just having one Divine Favor. I've always found two Divine Favors in Odd Paladin is very clunky. So I agree with that. Uh, we're, he's running two Faceless Corruptors, one Fungal Mancer. 
you might want to swap a Corruptor for a Fungal Mancer, but I actually prefer just to have one in the deck. And uh, yeah, if you want to hit the button a lot, buff up your dudes, this is the way to do it. Even Shaman. So this is Spiritus build of Even Shaman, very solid list. Uh, the tech cards to have a look at are the Menacing Nimbus, which I think is really cute. Um, sometimes you can get some really cool random effects. And you've also got the Earthen Might for a bit of synergy. Keep in mind, it's okay if you play the Earthen Might on a totem to combine with your Splitting Axe. It doesn't have to go on the Elemental, but it's definitely helpful when that when that happens. Uh, the Nerubar Web Lord is insane, especially uh, against decks that run a lot of battle cries. Um, sometimes this can stick and your opponent just can't do anything, which is quite um, ridiculous. Uh, this has won me games many, many times. And the other card I really like is the Nerubian Unraveler. This just this is a nice tech against mage or warlocks trying to clear your board. And um, yeah, it's a cute little cute little tech card. Okay, next up we have Mentalistic's Odd Demon Hunter. Uh, I don't, I think it's not technically his list. I think he got it from a China snapshot, but I wasn't able to verify the source. But um, it's probably his. Uh, Odd Demon Hunter. You know, shockingly, this is a deck I actually haven't played that much. Um, and the reason I, I don't play it personally is it, it feels like Odd Rogue to me, but I find Odd Rogue more fun. Um, but this is much more aggressive than Odd Rogue. Uh, some nice texts that I like here are the Glacial Shards. This really helps uh, slow your opponents down in some more aggressive matchups. The Guardian Og Merchant is a nice little tech as well, which I like. Blowtorch Saboteur. Man, has this card caused me problems when played against me. Um, the, I'm so, this is a really interesting card. I actually crafted two just to try out the specific build later on. So this is a really nice card. Uh, the Frozen Shadow Weaver is really powerful, especially in the Pirate Warrior matchup. Uh, just be, being able to freeze the opponent is really good. But otherwise, it's just running all the good odd Demon Hunter, heart, Demon Hunter cards. And um, yeah... Solid build. Reno Priest. Now, there are a wide span of Reno Priest lists out there, and it really comes down to your personal preference of what of how you like to play Reno Priest. Uh, but this specific build from Cream Puff, I'm a big fan of. It's not your run-of-the-mill list. It's a little bit quirky, but also really strong. So it's running the dragons. As you can see, now it's got some dragons sprinkled in. Uh, what you'll notice, though, is that there is no Spawn of Shadows. So this deck doesn't go for the Spawn of Shadows OTK. Instead, it goes for value, dragons, and then a cute little tech to, to round it off here. You've got your Hemet Jungle Hunter to knock out the bottom end of your deck. And then you can play the combination of King Togwaggle and then the following turn, Morazon the Infinite. It doesn't have to be the following turn, just whenever your opponent plays the Ransom spell, you then play the Morazons to play the Ransom spell that your opponent just played. So it's a nice little hybrid Togwaggle Reno Priest list and one that I've had a lot of fun playing as well. Quest Mage, the deck that never goes away. Uh, so this is Nakama's build. Uh, this is a little bit of a different build than you may have seen. Um, but uh, he took it. He took this to Legend, I believe, day one of the month. And I think I think this list is worth giving a shot. Uh, it's running two Arcane Breaths, which you might think like, what? Why is that in the? Why why are they there? Well, you've got two Cobalt Spellkins. Keep in mind, Mage has some amazing one-cost spells. This accelerates getting your quest done. And there's also an Archmage Vargoth in here. I, can th I consider this to be a anti-control tech. So this might be a card you want to cut for something else. Maybe an Arcane Intellect or maybe a Star Scryer or something. 
But um, I think this list is worth giving a shot, uh, especially considering everyone is targeting Quest Mage right now, and you can really catch them off guard playing a list like this. Secret Mage, man. Just like I angered all the Mech Paladin players, I also apparently angered the Secret Mage community. So, I will talk about it properly this time. Secret Mage. This is the list that everyone has seen forever. It runs a single Flame Ward. I don't think running two is a good idea. It runs a single Ice Block. I've seen some players cut Ice Block, which I think is a very bad idea. And, yeah. Uh, but Secret Mage, it, there's there's really not much to say about it. Just get Alaneth on six. It's the best I can do. Sorry, Secret Mage players. Cube Warlock. Now, again, there are a wide variety of Cube Warlock decks to check out. Um, this specific one by Avarice, I really enjoy. Um, it is... A little bit greedy, but not too much. The Umbra is kind of cute. Uh, the Umbra is definitely a greed card, but definitely something that's going to make your opponent freak out a bit, especially if it sticks. Uh, this is not running the Egg Package. It's running the Gul'dan and the Nazoth, so you can get extras off your expired merchant. So, you know, as long as you're hard mulliganing for your Skull, your Void Caller, um, you're going to be in a pretty good spot. This is a very powerful deck. Second best deck in the meta. This one might be a little controversial, but I think Jade Druid is very, very strong. And I do not like the uh, Kael'thasad, Kael'thad Sunstrider builds of Jade Druid. The reason I don't like those builds is they're a little too high roll. They depend on it a bit too much. And... I really think it's a mistake not running an Oaken Summons package, especially with all the aggression in the meta. So this specific build by Taraba uh, runs the Oaken Summons, the Ritualist, the, uh, the Archmage Vargoth, and uh, for, the, for the high end, against, you know, you don't see Geists too much. Um, this list runs one idol, by the way, so be careful. Once you have that idol, make sure you shuffle it when it's the right time. But, uh, you know, Skulking Geist exists. Some people run it. And so, just to give the deck an extra chance, there's a Ysera Unleashed, and there's a Yog saron Hope's End. It's also interesting to see the double swipe in the list, but with the Demon Hunters around and the Pirate Warriors, it's some nice extra anti-aggro fuel. And the number one deck, in my humble opinion, Pirate Warrior. This deck is insane. Uh, this is a new build uh, from Alb987. You may know him as the player who won the first Wild Open ever. And his specific build, it's similar to the Corsair cash builds that we've been seeing around. I really have trouble saying that word. But instead of just running the single uh, Ankar, it's running the double wrench caliber as well. And um, one thing I found when I was playing these um, specific builds is it really stinks when you draw the ink car because these are just dead cards. So I haven't tested this build myself, but I think it makes sense to have the extra weapons after all. And I'm excited to see how strong this specific build performs. If you want to try out any of these lists, you'll find all of the deck codes in the description below. And if you want to help support the channel, you can click that subscribe button, click that bell. And until next time, hope to see you again.